I was just taking on too much. I was just, you know, trying to, I had my hand in every single aspect of the business. And I knew that if I ever wanted to get to the point of actually scaling the company, that I had to get help. I couldn't be, you know, kind of like this jack of all trades and master of none. You're about to listen to the best of TSP. This is a collection of content from workshops and conferences that we've done over the years because we want to help you grow and expand your business. So do me a favor, lean in, pay attention, and listen now. Hi everyone, my name is Kiara and I own Major Keys Collection. We are an inspirational t-shirt brand. And um, my question is for Jen. So. I know you said that you was in the mastermind for a while and you was being consistent with everything, but when did you realize that you needed like a major shift in your business and what were some of the things that you prioritized in the beginning to get you to that first 10 figures and beyond? Yeah. So Kiara, my, when, so, you know, we were in another mastermind together that was around t-shirt t-shirt business owners, when that mastermind ended and Facebook had the iOS 14 changes and I saw my $7,000 a month go to $4,000 to $3,000 and I was still spending a lot on ads, I was like, clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me go get some help. And I knew two two um, women that were in the mastermind that had gotten their six-figure awards, and I was like, should I join? And they was like, yeah. I was like, all right, you got me. Um, and it's, it's, the mastermind has been amazing. Like, there's, I wouldn't be doing weekly drops without that coaching um, from my team. I, wouldn't ha I would not have a team if I was not in the mastermind. I would, not, I would have never taken that step to bring on help. And like Jamil, you know, I work, so I work with myself, but you know, insurance, you gotta be there nine to five. And I was going home and doing all of the process, all the, all, all the making the shirts, pressing the shirts, packing the shirts. And that didn't give me time to think. So it really was once I brought on team members that, because that was in October, and then January we had our first 10K month. So getting production help allowed me to think and market and, and grow and scale. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna also swing this question to Jamil. When did you know that you wanted to have help to grow your business? Again, uh, when I started my, my company in 2017, uh, it, was, uh, it was just me kind of running this uh, a one-man shop as a solopreneur. And while I was seeing a little bit of success, I felt like that I was kind of burning myself out because I was just, I was just taking on too much. I was just, you know, trying to, I had my hand in every single aspect of the business. And I knew that if I ever wanted to get to the point of actually scaling the company, that I had to get help. I couldn't be, you know, kind of like this jack of all trades and master of none, right? So at that point, I just had to have, a, have an honest conversation with myself. It's like, listen, you know, you have goals, you know, you know where you're, where you're trying to go, you know, with this business financially and such. So, you know, I, at the time I had trust issues when it comes to my business because nobody can, you feel like sometimes nobody can really do the business the way that you do it, right? So, so that's what I'm just like, you know what? But I got They do though, right? <laughs> Say it again. But they do though, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you have to get to the point where you can find the people that you know that you can trust and then at that point, you're able to release, right? And once I was able to do that, again, I went through several different people, you know, you know it's trial and error, you know, hire, trying to hire the right people. Um, but once I got to my core people, I knew that, okay, I got something solid here. And that's when, like I said, everything started to turn around for me. When I was able just to release it, delegate it to some of those folks, the people that I, that I know I can trust, and then the business just kind of took off from there. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Traffic Sales and Profit Show. Hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe and follow us on this platform right now to make sure you do not miss a beat as we drop new episodes and additional content every single week. Also, if you'd like to get access to a free paperback copy of my book, access to the TSP Traffic Sales and Profit free Facebook group, 
our challenges, resources, our events, and more, make sure you visit us at www.trafficsalesandprofit.com forward slash podcast.